Welcome to Sage Time Slips eCenter. Today we'll be looking at the timesheet. The timesheet is a method of entering slips in a spreadsheet format. It's useful if the timekeeper has several repetitive tasks to enter throughout the week. The timesheet is found on the navigation pane as the second link. Okay, here on the timesheet we have my timekeeper name and then a field for the date. Just pick the calendar icon and then I can choose any date on the calendar and it will automatically set the grid to the week that that date falls on. Okay, to enter in a new task, I go down to the bottom here. I pick a task, then the client that it goes with, and a reference is, if there is any. Okay. Okay, now that I have my template set up, I can go in and start adding time. Okay, so now that I have these time entries entered, I can just hit save and that'll turn the fields gray. If I click on a saved cell I have several options. I can start the timer, mark it as complete, open the slip entry that this cell creates, I can delete the slip or I can delete the timesheet template which will take out the whole line. Okay. If I want to delete the template it comes up with a confirmation. Are you sure? Yes. That'll take the whole line off of the template. If I want to add more time, and then if I click in this cell, it only gives me start timer and then delete the timesheet template. I can only have all the rest of these options if I click on a saved cell. If I want to get rid of this cell, I can delete this slip. It's another confirmation. Okay. The revert button up here, uh, that will un undo all of the unsaved slips. So if I put one here, one here, hit revert, and it clears off any unsaved items. Now the total lines at the bottom, the non-template totals, that line is from the slip entry slip list. It'll total up any non-timesheet related slips that I've entered for that day. And then the daily totals will total up this timesheet totals here and the non-template totals to give us an idea of how long we've worked for that particular day. Okay, And I just want to mark this as complete. The capital C means that it's complete. It's like on the slip list on the other page, the check mark. Only complete slips will download with our data transfer utility. That's about all the time we have for the timesheet view. Thanks for joining me for the new Sage Time Slips eCenter.